Hey, what's up, everybody? So I was gonna read some poetry tonight, but uh, fuck it, I'm gonna do some comedy. So recently, I'm single now. That's right, yeah, one person claps because they know what it really means to be in a dark and lonely place. But really, you know, at my age, you know, being single at this age basically means I'm creepy. And every fucking thing I do is creepy, you know what I mean? Like, Sunday morning, laundry, creepy. Go to mail a letter at the post office, fucking creepy. You know, and then it, just being alone, just standing there, anywhere, creepy. So, I can't even go for a jog without ending up in a lineup or on like a, a rerun of To Catch a Predator, you know? It's just like, it's impossible to go anywhere and not be creepy. And then my friends had the audacity to ask me if I've seen Toy Story 3. <laughs> How the fuck am I gonna see Toy Story 3? Am I gonna sneak into the back of the theater with all these angry parents and like kids trying to sit in my lap, dressed as a pirate, and just like trying to blend in? Trying to soak in the genius that is Toy Story 3, and then right before I get tased by some female cop who's gonna be called the hero the next day because she was the one that stopped like, you know, Captain Hook. So, I'm not gonna do that. Not gonna happen. And then people are like, well, why don't you just go home and watch it on Netflix? I'm not gonna do that either because I don't want to fucking end up on some list and uh, you know have my location posted on childfucker.com. Not gonna happen. So okay, you know some people, you know they're all like well, older women go through the same thing. You know they have, they're not fucking creepy. It's totally different. There is nothing creepy about it. I mean, case in point, Deborah Lafave. Okay, so. Just kind of re somebody knows who she is. Okay, I I knew who she was by like a photo. I had to Google her by photo because she's that hot uh, reading teacher who fucked the gay straight out of this fourteen year old boy. You guys remember this? Yeah, she, she was like super hot. Well, first of all, let me just say she's a reading teacher. What kind of fourteen year old boy doesn't know how to read in this country? Like maybe he had special needs or you know he had like self esteem problems, but. Don't try to fucking tell me that whatever those needs were, they weren't completely satisfied by hot teacher pussy. <laughs> like, and then, and then, you know, like, uh, uh, Nancy Grace is all like, you know, what a tragedy. This is like, what's happening to our country and this kid? Get him some counseling. He's gonna be made fun of at school. And I'm like, dude, the kid's a fucking hero. Are you kidding? He is being paraded through his high school on a sedan chair like Neil Armstrong at a ticker tape parade. Like, he's not gonna have any emotional issues whatsoever. Which brings me back to being a creep. See, I can't do that. <laughs> but at least it's not illegal. Which brings me to the next point, which is a drug story. Um, and this actually happened. So, uh, you know that, uh, uh, that theater up on uh, Grand and Fairview? It's like near St. Thomas. It's called Grand Theater. Okay, whatever, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> um, haven't been there in a while, obviously. So I'm ashamed to show my face there because uh, so this is like 15 years ago or something. So, I have a house Sunday afternoon. You guys seen Fear and Loathing? Okay, so, you know, you see where the story's going. So, I'm at my house, just chilling out. My friend wants to see Fear and Love at 1.30, matinee, Sunday, you know. He shows up, hour early, with a baggie of mushrooms. Yeah. And I'm like, well, okay, all right, let's, you know. And we didn't, this is the first time, we didn't know the proper dosage and everything, so. But we heard that, you know, if you boil it in tea, that's good, because, like, you know, it sucks. And it's kind of, like, you know, light and everything. So we did that. And uh, we're playing video games. I'm not going to tell you what video games because that will show how old and creepy I am. But, um, <laughs> but we're playing these video games for like 45 minutes or something like that, and nothing's happening. And I'm just like, I don't feel anything. Why don't we just, you know, like eat some more or something like that? He's like, you know, we just ate the whole fucking bag. That's what happened. <laughs> and then, uh, and then nothing was happening for another 10 minutes, and we had to take off because the movie's starting. And uh, I'm just like, well, let's just smoke some weed or whatever, and let's just get going because this is not working. I'm really sorry about your mushrooms. I don't know if you know the guy, but you got fucked over or whatever. We walk in there, and like 10 minutes into the walk, I'm like, uh, Johan, and he's like, and that's his name, Johan. I'm like, Johan, uh, Mr. Johannes, do you? F and he's like, I know. I know what you're about to say. And I'm like, we gotta fucking run, dude, because my legs are turning to jelly and we're not gonna fucking make it. 
So we sprint the rest of the way. We get there. We crawl up the aisle. Thank God it's dark and nobody saw us. Freak out at this movie for two hours. Just like this horrible experience. Like we're just, God is just mind fucking me. And then we walk out of there, get outside. Now it's like 3.30, right? And a Sunday afternoon, super nice and sunny. Fucking getting higher. Like it's not even stopped yet. I'm just, I'm going more. And then... You know, like, we were just, oh, dude, you know, we gotta, we walk to the end of the street, which takes 4.2 million years, right? We get to the end of the street, we look across at that park, I don't know, you guys probably know the name of the park. There's this park over there, no fucking park benches, what the fuck? No park benches? Isn't there, like, an ordinance? Don't you have to have a park bench in a park? No park benches. We want to sit down, the only park bench, and you guys can verify this, is there's that freestanding salon something or other has a mural on the side of like John F. Kennedy as an astronaut like trying to rescue like a unicorn in space. It's really fucking crazy. <laughs> right in front of that is a bench with rainbow colors that is the only bench to sit on. The only bench. I'm serious. Go verify this yourselves. It is fucked up. That was the only bench we had to sit on when we were fucking blasted. Sat there for four hours. Uh, I guess the point of my stories is drugs work. <laughs> That's it. <laughs>